So, welcome, or welcome back, to a new Let's Play at Gribby Sims, and let me introduce you to Philip. Well, good middle of the night, I guess, uh, because in my house that's about the only time I can record, because there are too many loud people here. But, uh, I decided to play something between a legacy and a Let's Play, um, mostly just because I really like a challenge. So, I've created a sim. Uh, his name's Philip Kruger. That's Philip right there. And uh, Philip fishes. Philip has angling ace as his aspiration. Philip is a bizarre, lazy ginger who doesn't like to do a lot. Uh, who's nearly starved to death twice because I don't let Philip buy food and. I don't really have any way to let Philip make food because most of that requires buying food. So if he finds food or he goes out with someone and they get a drink and then he steals their drink, that's okay. Um, but I moved him into Windenburg and I bought him the largest lot in Windenburg, which cost him 12,000 simoleons. And uh, then I dropped him down to zero and he's had to crawl his way back and I'm not going to let him build anything not one piece of flooring not a toilet nothing on the lot until he's paid back the 12,000 simoleon mortgage for the land uh, mostly through I guess uh, fishing and some random harvesting and uh, I hope someday to get Philip married to someone so that he can have an offspring. Um, I'm not sure that's going to happen because when I tested this, Philip died already twice. Um, this is the first time he's not really died. So this is Philip 3.0. Um, right now he has 482 simoleons from fishing. Uh, he came really close to dying. But he managed to keep himself together long enough to harvest some mushrooms on the top of his lot and survive. Uh, he made friend with, friends with M Myra Fries, I think. Moira. Um, and she's invited him out to a couple of bars, which of course if someone invites him, I, I think Philip's allowed to go. Um, and he's allowed to get chips because they're free but he's not allowed to buy anything. Um, but he basically is alive right now to fish, only because Myra's invited him out a couple of times and he's eaten chips and maybe stolen three or four of her drinks. And right now he's got some grow fruit and some mushrooms and a couple of eggs in his pocket. And I haven't decided what to do about the eggs because the eggs aren't permanent. And I, I'm sort of waffling about whether or not it violates my internal rule code to sell them. Or if I would allow him to keep the money if I did sell them. I haven't really thought that out enough yet. But Philip is taking advantage of his ability to function for 10 minutes. Because trust me, it's hard uh, to fish. So that's that's good um, and he's caught five fish so that's something towards his aspiration which I'd like him to finish I wouldn't feel like a sim had done a proper challenge or legacy unless they finished some aspiration so I'm pretty happy for this one to be his but I worry about Philip a lot because these are some pretty strict rules. I'm not letting him do whatever he wants. And so he gets tired and unreasonable and hard to control because the autonomy is on full really, really quickly. And it's kind of exhausting. Um, and of course he's nowhere near being able to pay back what he owes. And on top of all of that, that's an apple. We should plant that. On top of all that, he really doesn't have many options and aging is on and he's just going to get older and older. And paying back 12,000 simoleons before you can even put down a floor tile is maybe a big thing. I mean, I didn't 
I thought what circumstances would make it complicated. I didn't necessarily give thought to whether or not it was really possible to do this. So I can't say that it is or that it isn't, but what I can say is that Philip is exhausted and sleeps in a bush that he also pees in. And that's sad for him, but good for us, at least for a little while, until his life starts to fall apart and then he really can't function. Like, I have to start thinking about doing something for him because he gets to the point where he can't even deal with how tired he is and how little things work. And if he can't harvest, then he really can't deal at all. So that's a problem. That's it, Philip. Fall asleep in the bush. Yeah. See, this is pretty much how it goes. It's hard. It's hard. Sure, I'll join garden gnomes. Yes, I'd love to. I mean, we're having a club gathering. Sure, I'd love to. Why wouldn't Philip want to go? Because there might be a toilet there. Or a bed. Yes! Oh, wouldn't that be great? Where does this even go? I don't even know where the garden gnomes meet. But I hope it's somewhere with a bed. So Philip can get some rest. No, of course not. It's the stupid park. That's great. That's that's great. I mean that that bodes well for your future, doesn't it, Philip? Like they don't care about you. Not at all. Alright. Eat some mushrooms. And some grow fruit. And some mushrooms. Why? Because you're miserable. Like revolting bush miserable and Hungry, crazy, miserable. And what are you doing? What are you even doing with your life, Philip? What have I told you? Eat the grow fruit. Eat the glow fruit. Are you getting club points? Lillian Quick is apparently homeless. And she can function. Yeah. You're not very resilient. Like, at all. You're just not. You're not a very resilient sim. I don't know. Like, what? You're just gonna stand down there and... Okay. Say hey. That's good. Sure. Okay. Whatever. I mean, if you want to fish, I'll leave you there. While I think about how weird your life is. Oh, yes, you're very uncomfortable. You're very uncomfortable. All you are is uncomfortable. Yes, yes, yes. But you're still getting club points? Like, I don't... Look for frogs, tend garden. Okay. So you did some stuff. It wasn't so great, but you did it. You're just gonna sleep in the park, because what else can you do? Not much, really. And you can't even be bothered to, like, get some things? Well, at least she's fished in a different location. That's something. Goodness. Goodness, Philip. Like, I don't, I don't know about your future, man. 12,000 simoleons is a ton. I don't know how it's going to work out for you. Maybe this challenge really is too hard. So, thanks for hanging out today. This has been me, Gribby, and Philip, and our Let's Play.